Hey guys, what is up? This is Chris Siegel here with, well, my first video on this channel, and I'm gonna be showing you how to make a bow out of one stick and some string. Now, I don't have some string with me right now, but I'd say the best string that you could use is a drawstring. So the kind of string you'd find on a drawstring backpack is the best string that you could possibly use because it's strong and when it gets pulled tightly or taut, it um, gets smaller and it does not break. So first, you need to find a stick and preferably a pine stick because pine is the best for this. I got myself a stick that I'll be using to make a long bow. Now, if you want if you want to make a short bow, just take like so what I'm going to say is if you're going to make a long bow, try and make it a, like maybe a foot taller than you are. If you're going to make a short bow, try to make it like to your belly button. So, what you're going to do is um you're gonna first start by pulling out some sort of saw or knife to cut off all the little extending branches that come off from this branch. And we're gonna do that right now. Okay, I'm so sorry guys, my phone cut out. Um, but I used the time to chop all the little extending branches off of my branch. And um, it'll also help you because you can go find a branch and cut it down to size. So, now what we're going to do is you're going to want to make sure that your branch is bendable. So you're going to like put it in between your legs, say, so it's slightly like that. And then you're going to make sure that one end is in the ground and the other is up, and you're gonna bend it. Make sure it has some spring to it so it forces your hand back, but also make sure that when you're bending it, you don't put so much force into it that it'll snap the branch, because then you gotta start the whole process over again. So now you're gonna want to take your saw or your knife and you're gonna carve two indents in one in each side of the bow that's where the strings gonna be going so I'm gonna cut this video out and then I'm gonna try to mend all the videos together and I'm going to say that just make sure that the indent is big enough that all the string can fit inside of it okay guys I have finished carving the indents into the sticks and so now I'm going to tell you that I have no string that I can use to string this bow but if you would like to string the bow which I know most of you would what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take the string and you're gonna have to put it into the indent on one side then wrap it around and tie that end off then you're gonna take the string to the other end, put it in the other indent, wrap it around, tie it off, and make sure the string is taut, but not like pulling your bow back really far, because eventually that'll do some bad things to the stick. It'll make the bow not as good. So I'm gonna look for some string. If I find some, I will show you guys how to string it but that for all for now this is crazy seagull and just make sure to slap that like button and subscribe um yeah hey guys what is up after like 10 minutes of searching finally found some string we can use now to let you know when you cut the string you want to make sure it's at least a foot longer than your bow because you're gonna need about a foot to tie it so it's secure to your bow. Now, if you wanna be extra good, you make the string like two times the length of your bow and then you can double string your bow is just 
where you have the string running down and back twice. That's a lot stronger, but I'm just gonna do a single string today. And um, yeah, so I will show you how to do that right now. So first, obviously you're gonna grab your stick. You're gonna take your string and start on whatever end of the bow that you wanna start on. I am personally starting on the thicker end, but that's just me. You're gonna wanna make sure that your string is sitting in t nice and tight in your ridge. And you wanna knot it. So like, how you accidentally knot your shoes and then you can never get them undone. I'm gonna do that. And then you're gonna wrap, just wrap it around a little while. your string to the other side of the bow, which is where you're going to be doing the hard part for me, because this end of the bow is really small. So now, now, you're going to start to do the same thing on the other side, and make sure the string is quite taut, because if it's not not good. You know what I mean? Of course you. And also, if the one end of your bow is like really thin, you can do kind of something like that, where you're tying the string to the stick so it won't like break just because it's putting all the force on one end of the stick. So if you do that, it'll spread the force out over from here down to here, which is kind of what you want for the thinner end of your bow, because then it won't break as easily. I'm just gonna string it until you get really close to running out of string, because you don't want a bunch of excess string hanging off the end. And oh my god, this video is pretty well, once you've done that, you pull it through, under, around, and then pull that taut, and then do that again, because that's going to be your ending knot. So I have taken two arrows from my actual real bow and I'm going to show you if this thing works. It should, but I'm not 100% sure. So you're gonna wanna be pretty careful because if your stick snaps, that'll hurt. So what I did is um, left one of the extensions just a tiny bit so I can rest my arrow on that. And I'm going to set my phone right in here. So I'm gonna back up this. That was terrible. I'm going to show you my original bow made out of pine, which is half as big as that. It's also a lot better. So, I'm just going to do the same thing, string it out, step back, and there you go. I have officially made a stick bow and it works. So I'm gonna say, if you slap that like button, I'm so sorry. I've already said that, but just do that for me. I mean, in my last channel, I wasn't doing so good, but I'm gonna have a fresh start here.
So thanks, just make sure to slap that like button and subscribe.